jaysonlinereviews.com in this training video I am going to show you how to go through the Amazon marketplace um, create a banner ad and place it on your blog I'm using WordPress as an example you can be using pretty much anything it's going to be the standard basic situation here so first thing you want to do is uh, get yourself an Amazon Associates account if you're not yet an affiliate apply for one and then you're off to the races but here's um, the inside of your Amazon account you're gonna go over to the banners option it says links and banners and then you're gonna find a category they give you all kinds of options um, best sellers all that stuff um, on what you want to whatever category you want to promote on your blog or website just find it and it's all in alphabetical order so I'm just going to use a popular one, say electronics, maybe cell phones, as an example. I'm going to click on that. Wait for this to open up. And it's going to give you some various options of sizes of banner ads. The 300 by 250, uh, 160 by 600. And you can just click on those to see, uh, if you're not familiar with the banner ad sizes, to see what, how big they are and how they're going to look on your blog find one that suits your needs. Uh, we're going to use the 300 by 250 here and that's these and I like to use the JavaScript because it says what's this uh, JavaScript banner can determine the optimal ad size to be shown in the ad slot available to it it can do so it can do such optimizations before fetching an appropriate size of the banner a mobile device or a desktop can see different sizes of the same ad depending on the ad slot size. An iframe banner on the other hand is constrained by its original size and cannot render ads in varying, varying sizes. So that's why I like to use the JavaScript but you can use the iframe as well. So I clicked on the JavaScript. I'm going to copy that um, all that code there for the banner, banner ad. Then I'm going to go over to an example site I have here. So we got that code copied, and this is my demonstration video how to add Amazon affiliate banners to your blog or website. Now there's not, no content here. This is an example, but you're obviously going to have content, uh, whatever you're promoting. If you're promoting various Amazon ads, maybe you want to write a blog post about it, um, you know, whatever the case may be. But I'm going to leave this blank, obviously, because this is just for demonstration purposes to show you how to do it. So automatically WordPress sets it to visual and that's where you can, you know, write your blog post. And what you're gonna want to do with the code though is put it in text. So click over to the right one there, text, and you're gonna paste that code that we just copied for the banner ad. And then we're gonna click visual again. And it's gonna it should be ready to go. When you once you publish it. You're going to put in all your HTML tags and all that good stuff. Um, put the tags for your post, whatever whatever you're promoting, and should be off to the races. Click publish, and you'll be ready to go. Now another, th that's for a blog post. Then you you, sh you should be done. Um, now with, we're going to go to appearance. We're going to go to widgets here. This is how you're going to put them on your blog. I clicked the wrong button here. Bear with me one second. Click on widgets. Now this is where you're going to use all your various settings. I have a specialty theme set up, so mine's going to look a little different than yours. But you're, what you're going to want to do is click the text button down here. It's going to every all WordPress. Uh, plugins or themes are going to have these as options. I'll have a text there. And you're going to place it where you want it. This one gives me an option for sidebar number one. Uh, the bottom of my blog, um, I have, I'm using something called Click Missile. It can put it, the ad basically wherever I want it. That's included with the theme I bought. Uh, but yours, like I said, is going to look a little different. Uh, but it gives me various options of where I want this uh, banner ad to be placed. And all you're going to do say you want on the right hand side of your blog to show up pretty much everywhere go to sidebar one 
you're going to drag that text box down there in the bottom left and you're going to drop it right into your sidebar place that code that we created earlier click save and you should be ready to go that should be it and I have a super cache installed which makes everything quicker for loading uh, I do recommend it's called WordPress super cache if you run a WordPress use it but once you put your you know your new uh, banner in you're going to want to clear your cache how you do that is you go to the WordPress super cache settings go to content click delete cache and delete expired and that'll clear everything so uh, yeah, anything that you publish new is going to show up automatically uh, and if you don't do that it's going to take a minute before it it's going to show up now we're going to click on all posts click view and wait for this to load here and there is our ads that we just created. You see the cell phone one there to the right? That's that banner I showed you how to just create there. And that's where it's going to show up. And it's obviously wherever you put it on your blog, that's where it's going to sh that's where it's obviously going to show up depending on how you're set up. Click this. Go to the forum part. I got a little forum on this new website I just created. Um, and there it is right there too. Amazon cell phones. That's the one I just put in. And I had other ones previously created. And that is how you do that. It's pretty cut and dry, pretty easy. Copy that code. Um, that's how you're going to paste it into a blog post. And that's how you're going to paste it into a, a widget area to show up throughout your whole blog. So that's the difference there. So I hope this little demonstration video helped. Um, if you haven't done so yet, go over to Amazon create an Amazon Associates account and get started promoting the hottest selling Amazon affiliate products and the one good thing there's a lot of good things about Amazon but the one good thing I like about Amazon is if somebody buys something through your site through an Amazon product and you know they they browse through other products on Amazon you get credit for everything not just what you send them to so as soon as you send them to Amazon whatever they buy through your link you're gonna get credit on all that so that's pretty cool so that's it. Um, right below this video, there's going to be a bunch of free ebooks and a little affiliate mini course I put together. And it's going to be it's a tr it's awesome training material. It's going to be sent over to your uh, email ASAP. So just put click that link below, put your name in the box provided, and I'll send that over to you ASAP. And if you don't mind sharing this video, I would appreciate that as well. And subscribing to my YouTube channel. I'll see you in the next video. Hope this video helped you out. We'll talk to you later. Bye.